Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to create an explosion box. We will be creating the template in Design Space for the box and um, these images are um, some of my images that I have on my Patreon account. Okay, we're going to start creating a rectangle that is going to be 10 by 5 inches. And then we are going to add score lines that are going to have 3 inches high. And we are going to um, create three of them, three score lines. I'm making a couple more just because I'm going to need lines um, later. So um, because of the zoom that I'm using right now in Design Space, um, it's kind of hard to determine the distance that I need, which is 2.5 inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm just making a rectangle that is going to have 2.5 inches and that's going to be my reference to um, put the second score line. Just like this. And I'm going to do the same in the other side. And I'm going to just move these two because I don't need them. And then I'm just going to select everything and click on align and then align to the bottom. So I have them exactly aligned with the bottom of my rectangle. Then this one I'm going to change it to have 2 inches high instead. So that way I complete the 5 inches that I need. And I also change it to be a cut line instead. Uh, with the new version of Design Space, it's called Basic Cut. And I'm gonna make the copies uh, two more um, to complete the, the series here. And I'm gonna select them and align them um, to the top. So now the last thing that I need to do is I need to create a, a section that is going to be the one that um, is going to um, put together the two sides of the rectangle. Uh, I'm making it like um, 0.25 inches by uh, 3 inches. And I'm going to select the rectangle in this section align to the bottom and then uh, well and then now I can select everything well before that I'm just gonna uh, kind of cut this little section here going to the uh, layers section and so now um, I'm gonna add one more score line which is going to be between the cut and the score lines and this one is gonna have a distance of um, a size sorry of uh, 10 inches so sometimes when we try to make it uh, longer it doesn't work so you can just go ahead and go to the sides message with the sides section on top and change it to v10 and that will simplify the process and then one more here so now I'm gonna select everything and click on attach 
and I can see that uh, everything looks good and I'm gonna save it before anything happens I don't wanna lose this progress <laughs> So now I'm just going to create three small pieces that are the ones that go inside of the bags to hold um, the um, images that are going to decorate the bags. These are going to be 3 inches by 1.5 inches. Just going to move this so we can see both things right here. So now I'm just uh, gonna measure 2.5 inches um, again using a square because um, because of the sum that I have. And I'm gonna add two score lines each side side. Um, that have basically a distance from the side of uh, 0.25 inches. And I'm gonna create three of them, uh, but you have space to create up to four. Um, so now I'm gonna add uh, my images that are to decorate it. Um, these are uh, SVGs that I create for all those people who are members of my Patreon account. Um, I will leave the link below in case you would like to become a member. Um, so you will have access to uh, many projects, many images um, in SVGs. Okay, so I'm just gonna start uh, kind of um, reduce the size for these images to fit the area uh, on top, which is the one that um, is gonna be folded. And um, that way the images are not bigger than the box or that section specifically. I'm just gonna take a quick look and um, see that everything looks fine and I'm gonna start making the cuts right now. So here I have all the pieces that I need. So I have all the pieces now ready to start uh, putting everything together. Um, these are the three small pieces that are gonna hold the images and this is the template for the bags. So I'm gonna start folding all the score sections. And then I'm gonna fold this um, this way and I will also um, leave the link for the paper um, in case you want to look for something similar so now I'm gonna glue this section that I just um, have in this size and I'm using Verly Art glue um, which is really good cool and dries quickly so I'm going to add glue in this area. And I'm just going to put this clip for a little bit just to hold it um, while it gets dry. And I'm going to leave it like this let right okay so now I'm gonna fold these sections here also and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue these two pieces 
I'm gonna add glue on this area right here. So this tip that my glue has is perfect for a small sections and require glue. And uh, once I have this one done, I'm gonna do the same with the other three pieces that I have. Um, and these are to be placed one each side of my box. Now I'm going to put together my cake. Did I say cake or cake? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, so these pieces can also be um, attached or glued together using foamy dots if you want. Um, it well depends how thick you want to um, the packs be at the end. So now I'm gonna put together the phrase happy birthday and for this one the first layer is a uh, foil cardstock the second one or the one in the middle is um, glitter cardstock and the one on top is vinyl and I always recommend for the top layer if, it, if the letters are very thin to use vinyl because it will be easier to um, put them together or attach them to the other layers and then this glue is also perfect to um, <clears throat> add just in the enough the enough amount of um, glue I have this one ready and now I'm just gonna put together the balloons and as I mentioned it before these are images um, that I created and I share on my patreon account um, so for those who become a member uh, they have access to many designs that I create exclusively for uh, my patreon and um, depending on the membership, uh, you have access to different types of files or images. And also uh, projects that I already have uh, in the science space. So now uh, that I have all my images to decorate the bags, I'm just gonna kind of fold this uh, both sides just to make sure that it's folding without any problems. And then I'm gonna start decorating this. But before that, we need to add these pieces right here. Um, I'm gonna start with the one in the middle, just to kind of have a reference on where it needs to be. But I'm just gonna glue one of the sides, and I will show you in a minute why. So my box has um, two and a half inches, so the middle is 1.25 inches. And I'm just making sure it's touching, it's aligned to the top of the box. And I'm just adding glue in one of the sides. And I'm gonna do the same with the second one. 
and I'm just gonna calculate the distance. So as I mentioned before, you can have four or even five of these if you want to, to add as many images as you want. <laughs> gonna make it even more beautiful. So I'm gonna add the last one. Again, calculating there is a line and um press here a little bit. So then I'm gonna fold this piece like this and I'm folding the first two and the second one goes just uh, the way that is looking right now and the reason why I'm doing it this way is because I want to make sure that it's folding without problems and also that these pieces are aligned exactly um, in both sides exactly the same so I'm just gonna add glue here and press like this and just making sure that this is aligned also and I'm gonna press right here I'm just gonna use these clips again just to make sure that the pieces are not moving and I'm gonna let it dry for a little bit and then these pieces are gonna go like this So now uh, my pieces are dry and you can see that they are perfectly aligned here. You can just go ahead and add glue in both sides but the reason why I like to do it this way is because I can make sure that the three pieces are aligned. They are not like going to look kind of weird or not aligned after all. So I'm going to put the balloons here uh, but then... Hmm, it will be better if I just put it one of the sides that way the cake is not gonna cover the balloons so now I'm gonna put the cake in the center and the happy butter is gonna go here but before that I'm gonna attach these pieces just to kind of give the box a different look uh, in terms of colors And the happy birthday is gonna go right here. And I'm just gonna add these balloons that are leftovers from the balloons that I put at the beginning. Um, that way I can use them. So when it falls, then you can see the balloons and the cake and I just added a flower at the end. It's kind of like a poinsettia. <laughs> it's not Christmas, but you know. And I added this little guy here next to the happy birthday just to add something else to the um, that part right here. So this is how the car is gonna fold. And then I have my explosion, explosion box right here. So if you see, this is very easy to make is fun and also you can add anything you want to make it special and it's also uh, a good design for any occasion so i hope you guys like this video uh, please give me a thumbs up if you like it leave your comments if you have any questions and i will see you on my next video have a good one